Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video about how to do a raid scene on Twitch. Uh, I get a lot of questions on mine, and when I did a bunch of research, it took me forever to figure it out how to do it. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and we're going to get right into it. All right, so the basic concept of this is that you're going to want to just add a filter onto your primary like webcam or camera that you're using using a video capture device. Like So for me, my video capture device is a cam link because I'm using a Sony a6400 mirrorless camera. So basically the gist of this is that we don't want to affect our primary source that we're adding into it. We want to be able to have a separate scene that does something completely different. So to kind of demonstrate this, you guys can see that I have my YouTube scene, my test scene, and then the raid scene. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the test scene, right? Completely different scene, something that you can see the difference in. So I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna actually add, go right click and add a filter, right? So you add the filter, you'll see this screen pop up. You go to plus and then come down to scroll because this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna show you how to do it with and then we'll hit okay. And just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go ahead and do this and then have it just move like that, right? So completely different scene and now you can see the scene moving. So I'm gonna click back to my YouTube scene and you can see that it's scrolling on both the YouTube scene and the test scene. So this is what we're trying to avoid, and we want to have a completely different scene to set it up with. All right, so now that we established that you cannot change the primary source, which would be your camera, um, this is the most important step. I scrubbed YouTube forever looking for the way to do this, but this is how you do it fast and easy, all right? So you're going to go down to your raid scene, and then obviously you can see what's going on on my screen right now. And bear in mind, this is going to be a little bit different for you because I have to use a display capture. So the only thing you're going to want over here is just your audio input source, which would be this for me, my mic. All right. So you're going to go to plus and where it says scene, add a new scene. We're going to want to add in the test scene that we just had. So this is going to be the separate scene that we have outside of our OBS scene. Okay. We click it. All right. And this is where it gets a little bit different. Your test scene should probably primarily consist of just your webcam and your audio only, or however you want to customize it and make it yours, right? So envision this screen being my webcam only. So once we're on our raid scene and we added in the scene that we're wanting to change, you're going to click the right click button and then go to filters. Once you've hit filters, this is where the scroll aspect comes into play. We're going to hit scroll and then done. So now that we have this set up, like I said, I'm just going to put it on anyone. You can customize it to look how you want. Now we have our screen scrolling, and this is exactly what we want. And then I go back to my primary scene, and voila. It's only changed the test scene that I have because it's inside of this one. So once you have your separate scene set up, and you create kind of like, I call it like a dummy scene. So it'll just be a separate scene, like I said, that'll have uh, your mic and your cam, something completely different and then create a second scene that's gonna be for the raid that you're actually gonna change. So to kind of like demonstrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and just create this differently. So to kind of just demonstrate what I'm trying to show you, um, I'm gonna turn the display capture off, that way you can only see my webcam and kind of give you like a real life thing of what yours would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my test scene. And now that it's up here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit my raid scene. So I'm inside of my raid scene right now. I hit the test, filters, add my scroll aspect to it, done add my horizontal and vertical speed and now that you can see it's moving and i'm going to go ahead and switch right back over to the original scene and show you kind of what it's going to look like so there you have it look i'm right back on my youtube scene and i have my raid scene set up doesn't affect my primary video put device or anything like that all right so since we've established how to do this i'm just going to go back through one more time if you want to pause the video so that you can see the different sources and things that i've added and try to go through it just a little bit more quickly um, so you have your primary thing that you're going to use. It's going to be like your game scene outside of what you want your raid scene to be. You're going to create your test scene or your dummy scene. So within that, you're going to have your audio sources or anything else that you want into it, your video capture device. And then on the last part, we're going to have the actual raid scene itself, which is going to have the scene that you add in from your dummy scene and then your audio and anything else you want to do. So that's going to be all for this video. Uh, I just wanted to create something really quick and easy to try to help guide you through this. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any comments or questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to answer them as best I can. Hope you guys have a great day.